ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೇ ರಾಧಿಕ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನೋ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶ್ಯಕೆ ಪಾಸಿಂದು ಬಿವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೇಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂ ಲಂ ಹೈತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದೇ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಸಿದೇ ವೈ ಪ್ಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವಸ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೇ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರುಂಚೈವನರುತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತೀ ವಾಸ ತೋಜಯೋಧೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯಪತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರ ಧ್ಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಂಚನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪನುತಪಾಲ್ ಭವಾದ್ದೀಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರುಣಾರವಿಂದ ಜತ್ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನ ಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತಕಿಮಿಗೋಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಿ ಕದಾ ಕಿಪಾಂಕರಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭುನೀತಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಅದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭುನೀತಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಅದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಆಯಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನುಕಾಭುತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈ ಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಕ್ಷ ಭೀಷಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರೌ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೇ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ ಸದಾ ನರ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿತ ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವಾರಾಣಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವಿಶ್ವನಾಥ ಭಾಗೀಸಜುಷ್ಯವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಯಶ್ಯಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀತ್ ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 
भक्तिस्त भगवत भक्त संगीन परिजायते भक्तिस्त भगवत भक्त संगीन परिजायते गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपा परमश जगदगुरु टोल्ड दैट टू रियलाइज व्हाट एक्सीलेंट ऑब्जेक्ट गौरंग महाप्रभु इस गौर की वस्तु टू रियलाइज व्हाट एक्सीलेंट वस्तु गौर हरि इज टू रियलाइज दिस थिंग You will have to leave all bad association. You will have to leave all evil association. Gauriya Goshti Bhati Sri Sri La Bhakti Sri Dhan To Saraswati Goswami Jagat Bhopal Paramahansa Jagat Guru told to realize what an excellent object Gauranga Mahaprabhu is, absolute object, excellent object. If you like to realize. Then you will have to leave all evil association, all bad association. Then you can realize. Otherwise, you cannot realize. Impossible. Because all those your evil association may be in the form of your wife, may be in the form of your daughter, son. Maybe in the form of your friend, I don't know, father, mother. Evil association can come in your life in any form, and that evil association can take, can eat up all the vitals of your bhajan, of your spiritual life, all the vitals, vitamins. You have your vitamins now of your spiritual life. All they can eat up everything. Life after life, you can wander around here and there. You cannot get any result. They can eat up all the vitals of your bhajan, but you are doing. You cannot get any test. And in Hari bhajan, if you are not going to get any test, it is not possible for you to stay for long time. You are waiting to get test. If you are not that dedicated and not getting. Not getting this can so many reason can be there. Maybe you have you are doing some offense for this reason you are not different reason can be there for which you are not getting test. Not that bhakti shinda, not that bhakti shinda to Saraswati Goswami Jagur is useless. So you are not getting any test. Not that. Not that Bhakti Shiddhanta Saraswati Goswami Tagore Prabhupada is useless. So what he is speaking, we cannot get any test. This is not that. Not that. Prabhupada many times used to say. Prabhupada many times used to say, even if you are going to hear Hari Katha from exalted source, very high source, still you cannot get any test. You cannot get any result. Pope is speaking. What can be the reason? But well, there is that means aparaj is there. Heavy offense, aparaj is there. That's why you are not getting test. Heavy offense, not light offense. Light offense you can avoid by reciting Brindadevi Stokam. Follow by. Reciting two chapter of Gita daily, especially Dadashi. I mean tomorrow Ekadashi. After that Dadashi. Any Dadashi tithi in any Dadashi. Not Ekadashi. Ekadashi pardon is very good, but specially to avoid offence is very special. And Dadashi night time. Dadashi, night time, if you recite Bindadavis Chakam, is very good. Or Akadashi day or daily, if you recite two chapters of Gita, only Sanskrit, more you can do. So, Pope was speaking, even after hearing Harikatha from very high level source, 
very high level. Perfect acharam or everything. Still you cannot get result because of aparat, maybe some aparat here. You cannot get. So any kind of evil, evil association we should avoid. Try to realize what I mean to say. One side Gauranga Mahaprabhu is there. One side, one side Gauranga Mahaprabhu there, the absolute truth. And another side you can get infinity facility, material enjoyment. One side, Gauranga Mahaprabhu there, the absolute truth, Paratpara Kilesha. And another side, if you look, you can get infinity facility, enjoyment. Now it's up to you what you can accept, what you can reject, that's up to you. What you can reject, what you can accept, that's up to you. Or if you can say, I can also, I can accept Gauranga Mahapu, at the same time I can also accept some uh, enjoyment, Maya, not possible. Not possible. Gauranga object, Gauranga Mahaprabhu, such an object, where any kind of contamination can reject you. You cannot stand. An evil association can come in different form. Even it is out of your imagination. How and when, how and when evil association can come to make you fall down, you cannot realize. Evil association can come in different form. You cannot realize. So, our challenging mood is not good. The only way open, the only way open is a complete surrender. To feel, to feel that I am nothing. To feel that I am nothing, I am nothing. What is my existence? Is the only way. But which is impossible. Which is impossible. We can never try to feel that life is unstable, we'll have to go away. We can recite, we can speak, lecture, but we cannot realize. We cannot realize. Direct realization about the instability of our life can give you some rigidity. You can feel power. So I will, the only way open, I will have to do bhajan. Hari bhajan, no other way. I can give one example. Like Sivas Pandit, today is the Tirabhaptiti of Sivas Pandit. Is the eternal parsad of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, everybody knows. And I told many times, Panchatattva, Panchatattva means, Panchatattva means complete Bhagavad Tattva. Panchatattva means complete Bhagavad Tattva. Not that I can take Gauranga Mahapu separately and I can throw Nithananda, Adhaito, Siva, Zana. Not that. Not that. Then Bhagavad Tattva is not complete. Bhagavad Tattva means complete Tattva. Name, name, fame, parikar, vaishishta, dham, all paraphernalia, total lila, vaishishta, all together is called Bhagavad Tattva. Bhagavad Tattva, Bhagavad Tattva is not incomplete Tattva. If you like to cut devotees from Bhagavad Tattva, then you can you don't realize Bhagavad Tattva. If you try to, if you try to cut and throw, if you like to cut and throw, eh? Bhakta Tattva, if you like to cut and throw Bhakta Tattva, Bhakta devotee Tattva, Guru Tattva, then you don't realize, you don't realize Bhagavad Tattva. Bhagavad Tattva means complete Tattva. Complete Tattva means Leela, Parikar, Vaishishto, everything, all. All paraphernalia, Dham, Nam, everything. 
all together is Bhagavatam. So, if you like to understand Ram Tattva, then also you will have to understand Ram Lakshan Bharat Satyugna. If you like to realize Gaur Tattva, Bhagavat Tattva, you will have to realize Nityananda, Adhyayita Gosha, Sinivasa Chajyo, and uh, Gadadhar Pandit, you will have to realize. Otherwise, this is incomplete. You cannot realize. So, our Sivas Pandit is Bhakta Tattva. Bhakta Tattva, na? Bhakta Tattva. So, Sivas Pandit is also Bhagavat Tattva. Bhakta Bhagavat, Gantha Bhagavat. So, also Bhagavat Tattva, okay. So, actually, Sivas Pandit, his life and soul, everything, dedicated for the service of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Sivas Pandit, his life and soul, everything dedicated for the seva of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, Bhagavat Tattva. And he took birth in Srihatta. He took birth in Srihatta, the same place where Sachi Mata, I mean Jagadan Misra, Nilamba Chakravarti, I mean the grandfather of Mahaprabhu. All they took birth in Adhidu Gosai also Sihatta. All they took birth in Sihatta. But after that, they coming here because they already know. Like Adhidu Gosai, like Adhidu Gosai could realize, like Adhidu Gosai could realize that Bhagavan coming. Bhagavan coming here to help us all, deliver all. Similarly, Sivas Pandit also could realize. He could also he could also realize. He could also realize that Bhagavan coming. By the prayer of Adhyaja Gosai, by the prayer of Adhyaja Gosai, Bhagavan came. And when Bhagavan came, Adhyaja Gosai started dancing. Nobody knows the reason for why Adhyaita was suddenly dancing. Haridas Thakur asking, Oh, why you are dancing? When Mahaprabhu taking birth here in Mayapur, Gaur Purnim, and Adhyaita was there in Santipur, started dancing like mad. Haridas Thakur speaking, Why you are dancing? Ah, oh, some secret reason must be there. Haridas Thakur could realize. Similarly, our Sivas Pandit, he could also realize this point. Actually, Sivas Pandit and Jagannath Miso almost like friend. Jagannath Miso was there. Jagannath Miso in Bhavan, Mahaprabhu Jogopit, we know Mahaprabhu. And Sivas Pandit, his house was just near, adjacent. Never sexually. And they had friendship. Like Sachimata and Malinima. Malinima is aged lady. Had some friend. Friendship, or I can say, Malinima always used to help Sachima. Malinima always, all the way, she used to help Sachima. Used to, she used to help Sachima all the time. A serving move. Sivas Pandit not alone. Four brothers you can find. Sivas Pandit, Sri Ram Pandit, Sripati, Sinidhi. What? Sivas Pandit, Sri Ram Pandit, Sripati, Sinidhi. Four brothers. Excellent brothers. They are the decoration, they are the decoration ornament of this Navadip Dham. They are the decoration, I mean ornament of this Navadip Dham. So great devotee. By the inspiration of Bhagavan, they are coming from Shihatta and coming here to take. They are taking they are staying here in Mayabu. 
They already know Gorang. Bhagavan coming, golden avatar coming. They could realize. When Gorang Mapo took birth here, Malinima was there. Our Sivas Pandit was there, all there. All the way. All the way, Sivas Pandit was very helpful to Jagannath Miso or Swachima. They used to help, all the time help. Excellent. But always they are worshipping Shalagram. They are pure devotee. Always, four brothers, all, whole family. They used to worship Bhagavan. Even before, even before Bhagavan took birth, even before Bhagavan took birth, they used to big devotee there. Everything they are following. You can remember I was speaking about Devananda Pandit that day. Perhaps you can remember. That time, when I told you, Sivas Pandit went there to attend Bhagavad Katha. But Devananda Pandit was dry Pandit, dry. He was dry, he was Pandit, but dry Pandit. No bacteria. Because he never thought, because he never thought it necessary to serve devotees. That is the main problem. He never thought it necessary to serve devotees. Because without devotees, without serving devotees, nobody can get bhakti. I started with the point now. I started with bhakti to bhagavad bhakti sangena parijayati. Krishna bhakti janma mul hai sadhu sang. The very root cause of Krishna bhakti is the sadhu sangha. The very root cause. And also you know from Chaitanya Chaitamito, Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Sasthe Koi, Lava Matu, Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Siddhiya. You know it very well. But you memorize, you cannot realize. Without that, not possible. So Sivas Pandit went there to attain Bhagavad Katha, but he was a dry philosopher. He started crying after hearing Bhagavatam. Because Bhagavatam is full of rasa. Srimad Bhagavatam is full of rasa. Each and every word, if devotee is hearing, their heart is going to melt down. So what's wrong in it? Srimad Pandi, after hearing Bhagavad Katha, is going to shed tears and going to roll down on ground. But they took it wrong way. They took it wrong way. Because they think it is one kind of disturbance. Why disturbance they have? Useless. We have Bhagavad Harikatha, I mean Bhagavad Katha going there. It's disturbance. So better we can take him and throw him out. It is the success of Bhagavad Katha. It is the success of Bhagavad Katha that Sivas Pandit shedding tears. But they think wrong way. They wanted to throw him. What I mean to say, that was much before the birth of Gorangma. I mean, when Gorangma took birth, much before that, much before that this incident happened. Much before that. And that Gorangma, when he is, you know, 16 years or 18 years, that time Gorangma is going to expose that, expose the fact. I mean, it happened before Mahaprabhu took birth. But when Mahaprabhu, almost 18 years, eh, playing in Navadip, Leela, that time Gauranga Mahaprabhu one day wanted to expose the fact. So, any offense, be careful. Do bhajan or not do bhajan, that's up to you. Do bhajan or not do bhajan, that's up to you. But please, don't do offense. At least try to avoid doing offense. So first, 
another offence I can say. There was one Chapal Gopal, one idiot. He was a very rascal. Demon, demon. He wanted to bring defame. He wanted to bring defame in the name of, you know, Sivas Pandit. Because Sivas Pandit there, in the room, they are singing, dancing. They become angry. A disturbance. He wanted to bring some defame in the name of Sivas Pandit. He wanted to arrange one, po uh, one pot of uh, uh, wine. One pot of wine and China rose, you know, red China rose, which you can use for Kalima, Kali, Kali Devi. You know? Kali Devi, you know? Kali Devi, we are offering you know, China rose, red China rose, special. He wanted to arrange everything. And Barmillion, you know, Barmillion, those Matajis they are using after marriage. All they arrange in a you know banana leaf and going to pour all the items of Kali Puja, Bhavani Puja. Oh my god, and wine pot. But to put there in the outside gate of Sivas Pandit to bring defame. Morning time, when Sivas Pandit is going to open the door. He discovered, oh my God, who put it? Oh, he started uh, lamenting. Oh, oh, gentlemen, you all come. You all gentlemen come. I am such a fallen soul. Every day I am, you know, drinking wine and uh, worshipping Bhavani. So I am false, I am false devotee. I am false devotee. You watch, watch. You see, a wine. Then all gentlemen, Brahman, everything, they started lamenting. Who done it? Oh my God, who done it? Huh? Who done it? Sivasvan is a great devotee. Who has, who has done it? He is going to die. Nobody knows who is doing. Nobody knows because there are no documents. If there is documents, you can find one. You can file one case with police station, but no document. How you can attack whom? No document there. Not night time. He come and put and go away. It is one kind of sabotage, you know, sabotage, you know, sabotage. Like the train accident. You go and make slight, you know. There is one joint. You going to there is some joint bolt. Signal is okay. Everything okay. Somebody going to make the screw loose and fly. Go away. Signal okay, everything okay. No mistake. But somebody going to make the screw loose and gone. And when the train going to change the track, it's an automatic factor. Because train driver running, signal man you have to do, they automatically changing track. But the train not changing track, going to say train, going to bounce. So many such incidents happen. So many incidents happen, you don't know. 20, 20, 30 years back, 30 years back, maybe 30, 28 or 30 years back. No, 30, 30, 25 years back, I think. No, 30, more than 30. Because that time I used to go to Indian Institute of Technology. 30 years back, 35 years back. That time I used to go to Indian Institute of Technology, Kharagpur, you know Kharagpur station. One railway man told me, one railway man told me that driver just halt the car there, I mean train, and gone to take tree, hot tree from some place. He couldn't expect such an expert, he couldn't expect that such an expert can be there who is having all knowledge about ten machinery. You know, one man, the driver gone and the helper gone and the man immediately within fraction of second, he got inside the train and one vital parts from the train take out and go away. And the train is not moving. 
Train not mogi. All block train. No backside, outside, all block. Then the station master announce. Because driver speaking, some spare parts, then without which train cannot go. Big problem. So sabotage can be there. Sabotage can be there. So the man, nobody knows who has done. But next, when Sivas Pandit lamenting and going to going to invite, going to invite one clean man, clean man, a sweeper, 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 and paying him some money. I can pay you. You just clean that place and with a cow dam and cow urine and Ganga water, clean that place. He was bound to do it. He cannot touch it. But next day, the Chapal Gopal developed leprosy. Total hand, leg, everything leprosy. He started crying. Oh, I have done mistake of wrath. From his wife, all you know, family man. Going to kick him out. Because you are developing leprosy, we cannot keep it at all. We go out. In a whole day, he is going to cry at the bank of Ganga. I mean, the while Gauranga Mahapu going to Ganga to take bath in the street midway. So, oh, I have done mistake. You just excuse me. Mahapu say, I cannot excuse you. I cannot excuse you. This is nothing. Mahapu speaking, this is nothing, the, the kind of pain, the kind of painful experience you have, is nothing. It is a sample, only sample. Mahapu it is only sample. You have done mistake under the lotus feet of Sivas. You don't know who Sivas is. He started crying. He started crying. All gone. Everything pain. So, Gorang Mahaprabhu, when growing up, small boy, I mean 10, 12, that time doing, going to do doing some mischievous activities, you know. Small boy, you know? <laughs> Six years boy, four years boy, all mischievous activities. Or doing different kind of mischievous activities. <laughs> small boy playing in the water, swimming, and they jumping in the water, water from the leg. Uh, you know, the small boys coming in the body of Brahman, they become, hey, we are doing chanting, guys, so you are doing this offense. But they don't know Mahaprabhu is going to bless them by giving the drop of water from the leg. They don't, they have no idea. The wicked boy, we can complain with such a, a Jagannath Misra, your boy is so wicked. Eh? They don't allow us to take bath in Ganga and do chant Anni. We can complain. <laughs> I complain. <laughs> Jagannath was taking one stick. Jagannath taking one stick and going to Ganga very secretly. Can, can arrest him and beat. But Gauranga Mahapu very clever. Gauranga Mahapu very clever. Somebody inform your father come. Mahaprabhu is Supreme Lord, you know. Then in the midway, in the midway, Mahaprabhu going to meet with father. Father, but where from you are coming, my son? I am coming from school, I mean from Vidyalaya. All ink, ink, you know, writing ink permission. No symptom any of any taking birth. Because he is Bhagavan, na? Jagannath says, some people complain that he is taking birth in Ganga, but I see the symptom is just opposite. No question is the ink is there, dust particle, everything, not taken birth. Then who is going to speak like? Brahman, they cannot speak lie, and the boy also cannot speak lie. What is a miracle? How I can beat that boy without any reason? Follow. When the father gone, again the boy coming and jumping into water. Boy, father gone with a stick. Oh, no, father. He's coming from school. Where from you are coming? I am from, from Gurukul. I mean, from Patsala. Patsala? But somebody is thinking his confusion. <laughs> There is Bhagavan, na. So that time, Mahaprabhu used to do so much mischievous activity. Follow. 
After that, when Mahaprabhu growing 16, 17, 18 years, then he used to show some positive attitude. But everything is positive, Mahaprabhu. But in our opinion, <laughs> not everything positive about Mahaprabhu. Then Sivas Pandit is speaking, hey, you are reading books and everything, you are a good student, but not doing Krishna Bhajan, your life is useless. Sivas Pandit is sometimes speaking to him. You are so wicked boy. You are so intelligent you are, you know. So intelligent you are. You are reading books, everything. Your education is very good. But you are not Krishna Bhajan. Eh? You are wasting your time. Sivas Pandit is speaking. You are not doing Krishna Bhajan. Krishna Bhajan is very urgent. Because it is the ultimate... Sivas Pandit is speaking to Gauranga Mahapur, small boy. Hear me! It is the ultimate result of Krishna Bhajan. It is the ultimate result of education. Sivas Pandit is speaking to Mahaprabhu, the small boy. It is the ultimate result of education. What is the ultimate? To know Krishna. Sivas Pandit says, hey, hear me. To know Krishna is the ultimate result of your education. But you are a very intelligent boy, but not getting with you. Well, by your mercy, someday I can get bhakti. Mahaprabhu speaking. By your mercy, someday I can get bhakti. And after that, Mahaprabhu started exposing some very nice mood. Sometimes Sivas Pandit is going to take bath in Ganga and going to carry one pot of Ganga water because in home there is halagram, everything. He used to worship no? every day. Going to take bath and take some Ganga pot and now what? pot of Ganga water with him and all cloth. Then Mahaprabhu going to take the wet cloth. Wet cloth. After taking by this wet cloth, no? wet cloth and the pot of Ganga. Give, 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 give. I can do some seva. No, no, no. You are a small boy. Give me. Mahaprabhu used to, used to take the pot of Ganga water and wet cloth, everything, and going to help Sivas Pandit to reach home. Nobody knows what is the Leela of Gaurang Mahaprabhu. Gradually, when Mahaprabhu started expressing his actual mood, I mean the reason for why Mahaprabhu coming here, he wanted to expose gradually. When? Especially after coming back from Gaya, after, of, after, offering, funeral, after offering funeral cake, after offering funeral cake to father, in Gaya, I mean, after taking Diksha from Ishwar Pradipad, is coming, and from then onward, Mahaprabhu expressing just excellent mood. I mean, the reason for why Mahaprabhu appeared, he wanted to express this. From then onward, Sivas Pandit used, Sivas Pandit, Gadadar Pandit, they used to stay like shadow. Because they are there, because if you go through, because if you go through Chait if you go through Chaitanya Bhagavad, you can find that time Advaita Gosai was the only support. Because Advaita Gosai Mahavishnu, na? Mahavishnu na? is a very powerful. So that time Advaita Gosai was the, was the only support for devotees here. Because all material world, all material world all around, they don't know bhakti. What is bhakti? So everybody, like the elder brother of Mahaprabhu, Bisharup, or Sivas Pandit, who not? Gadadhar, Mukundo, Mukundo, you know? Mukundo. Everybody, they are, Adhaitu Gosad was the only, only support. Adhaitu was the only support. Everybody came to Adhaitu Gosai to hear Harikatha Kirtan, everything. And Sivas Pandit, Sivas Pandit, Siram Pandit, Sipati, Sinidhi, they all are great devotees, not only great, they are doing kirtan. They are doing kirtan like Mukunda, as the number one kirtan, kirtanya. So, our Sivas Pandit, gradually Mahaprabhu started manifesting his actual Leela. And most of the time, Mahaprabhu used to do pastime there in Siva Sangan. Because Siva Sangan means Aprakita Rasasthali. 
of Prakita Sankirtan Rasasthali, the name of the name of Shiva Sangan, the name of Shiva's Mandir is of Prakita Sankirtan Rasasthali. Because Mahaprabhu used to do Rasa Leela. Mahaprabhu used to do Rasa Leela in Shiva's Angan there. All Leela, most of the Leela. Most of the Leela Mahaprabhu used to do in Shiva Sangan. Most of the Leela. And not only that, but also Nityananda Prabhu. Gorang Mahaprabhu speaking, you are my heart. Mahaprabhu speaking to Nityananda. Goranga speaking to Nityananda, you are my heart. Without you, I have no existence. And that Nityananda, now coming here from Vrindavan to attain the Gaur Lila, eternal Lila. When Mahaprabhu started expressing, when Mahaprabhu started expressing his secret Leela, I mean Kripa, started expressing, in that case, Gauranga, Nityananda Prabhu coming from Vrindavan to attend Gaur Leela. First of all, he took shelter in Nandan Acharya Bhavan. At present, is Gosai Maharaj's mat. At present, is Gosai Maharaj's mat, which is actually it is called Nandan Acharya Bhavan. I am not going in details. I am not going in details. What I mean to say, Nityananda Prabhu first took shelter in Nandana, everybody knows. First of all, Nityananda took shelter in Nandana Chajya Bhavan and he was arrested, I mean detected by Gorang Mahapu and his devotees. First of all, come on, I can show you where. That great, you know, come on, I can show you. Going directly in Nandana, you see, I see. this way Nityananda. You see, I wanted to speak about him. He already come. After Nandana Chaja Bhavan, because in Nandana Chaja Bhavan he only uh, took shelter fast. But actually, Nityananda used to stay in the house of Sivas Pandit. Actually, Nityananda Prabhu used to stay in Sivas Pandit house. For, for the first time, when he came from Vrindavan, he took shelter in Nandana Chaja Bhavan. But Nandana Chaja Bhavan. But he took shelter ultimately in the house of Sivas Pandit. Because both Gauranga Mahaprabhu, both Gauranga Mahaprabhu and Nityananda, both of them, used to treat, used to treat Sivas Pandit as father and Malini as mother. Yes. Mahapu used to give respect to them because almost same age. Not same age. So close, so close friendship. Shachima and Malinima, so close friendship, you cannot imagine. Whole day, almost whole day, they are staying together, going to share, going to share their sentiment, I mean, pain and pleasure, everything. Almost. Even Sachima, when sleeping and watching a dream, Sachima first going to speak to Malini. Malini, come. Today, I, uh, in dream, uh, I saw this. So, so much close friendship, strong friendship. Friendship. So, ultimately, Nithanabhu took birth in the house of Sivas Pandit. Not only that, Nithyananda Babu, by that time he was aged, 22 years, 22, more than 20 years, when Mahaprabhu met, was that time. Because Nithyananda Babu was aged, then Gorang Mahaprabhu. That time, Nithyananda Babu used to sleep in the lap of Malinima. You cannot imagine. You can misunderstand. Nityananda Abadu, like child. Nityananda used to sleep in the lap of Malinima. Used to suck the breast milk. Malinima is Mahabhagavata. You know, 
Bhaktivati, she, she can realize everything. But common people cannot understand. It is written in books, whenever Nityananda is going to suck the breast milk of Malinima as mother, as a son, small son, then automatically milk comes. There is no milk. There is no question of any milk. Dry, dry, you know, mammary gland. Dry totally. But when Nityananda is touching, milk comes. Automatically is written. Chaitanya Bhagavad, you go, you cannot believe. Because people are habituated with material thing. Oh, possible. So dirty thing. Are you dirty? Is Bhagavan. Balaram, Nityananda. Is the soul of everybody. What do you mean by dirty thing? What do you mean by dirty thing? He is human being. Rascal. They don't understand. Malinima used to, Malinima, Malinima, not, Malinima used to arrange prasadam for Nityananda. Nityananda not going to take prasadam himself. Like if somebody give prasadam to you, you have to mix and take. Nityananda not doing. Nityananda why only laughing, laughing and crying and what doing you know. Malinima going to take uh, uh, no, prasadam in a plate. When to put, hey, come, take, take prasadam, mouth, like child. Nithyananda not taking. Every day, Malinima going to mix prasadam and giving in the mouth of Nithyananda. Then Nithyananda taking. But you don't understand. He is Balaram. Sachima also could realize this point. Sachima also realized, could realize this point. Many times, not one time. Sachima could see that Krishna and Balaram and Gauranga and Nityananda both. Gaur Nityananda and Krishna Balaram. Sachima could see. And as also seen, when Nityananda coming in the house of Sachima, Sachima used to think, my elder brother. It's just like my elder brother Bisharu. My Sachima used to think, my elder son, my elder son, Bisharu gone away now. When I look at Nithyananda, it looks like my son coming. He gone. By that time, uh, he was supposed to attain this kind of age. He gone now. But now, if he is somewhere alive, maybe but it's just like Nityananda. But Sochima cannot realize it is a it is a it is a lila of Jogumaya. Sochima the realize, but hundred percent cannot understand. Actually, who is Bisharu? He is Nityananda. <laughs> who is Bisharu is Nityananda. But Sochima the in confusion. It looks like my really sir. Bisharu mean? Bisharu mean whatever look. Bisharu, what is the meaning of Bisharu? Whatever whatever you look all around or whatever you cannot look, not possible for you, which is out of your limitation. All the expression of Bishar, Rup of Anantadev, Nityananda. This Bisharu. And Nityananda all same. Now, Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu used to do so many lila in Siva Sangam. Sometime Mahaprabhu going to take bath in Ganga, sometime not going to Ganga. Then one maid servant named Dukhi, 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 she used to bring water from Ganga. 22 pitcher, many, many pitcher. Some dev devotees there, they, Sivasman, they used to arrange the bath, uh, bathing of Gorangama, Gorangama sitting, putting Ganga water. Then Dukhini going in Ganga and again going to bring. One day Mahaprabhu speaking, Sivas, who is going to bring Ganga water for me to take bath? Actually, her name is Dukhi. Don't speak Dukhi. You can speak Shukhi. 
Dukhi means <laughs> Shukhi means happy. And Dukhi means sorry. <laughs> Mahaprabhu, don't speak Dukhi. Her name should be Shukhi, happy. Because I feel it. She is so happy to bring water for me. How you can call him Dukhi? He cannot, his name is not appropriate. Her name should be Shukhi. From then onward, all devotees started calling that small girl, Shukhi, 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 when happy. <laughs> Bliss, Shukhi. This way, Mahaprabhu used to do deep, countless Rila. I am going to limit. I am going to speak limited. Even when Mahaprabhu wanted to give Kripa to Narayani Devi, I am in mean the mother of Vindavandas Thakur, I am in mean the nice, I am in mean the nice of Sivas Pandit. Nice. Is the nice of Sivas Pandit? Uh, or according to calculation, you can say the mother of of Vindavan Das Chakramasa when he was four years boy, four years girl. Mapa used to take prasadam after the residue plate. You can give to you can give to Narayan many times to give. A devotee is there surprised to see what what kind of lila it is, Mahaprabhu give prasadam to him. Then Narayani Devi growing up, so many incidents, you know. And when Mahaprabhu expresses Bhagavad, Bhagavad Sarup, Mahaprabhu usually, Mahaprabhu usually expressing his ordinary human lila. When Mahaprabhu expressing ordinary human lila, when small boy you can find as very naughty boy, when growing up, very intelligent student. When still growing up, is a very intelligent uh, teacher. But actually, he is Bhagavan. Nobody knows. He is going to hide, na? Mahaprabhu always wanted to hide his saru fast. But finally, one Mahaprabhu wanted to express his Bhagavad saru. That was first done in Siva Sangana. That was first done in Siva Sangha. One day Mahaprabhu coming and speaking to Sivas, opened the door. When Mahaprabhu went to Kaji, Kaji, you know, to give to give punishment to Kaji. I mean to give Kipa to Kaji. That time, before that, when Kaji, Kaji going to announce. If if I can if I can discover any Kaji speaking announce everywhere. If I discover anybody doing Sankirtan, if I discover anybody doing Sankirtan, I can come, I can send man, and I can destroy everything. Be careful. So Sivas Pandit cannot do kirtan. All devotees are seeking. Because the ruler, Muslim ruler, going to put warning. If you discover anybody doing Sankirtan, we can come and we can destroy everything. Be careful. Sivas Pandit is shaking, everybody is shaking. Oh, we, how we can do Sankirtan? In the meantime, when, when Sivas Pandit closing the door and doing calling Nishingadev, Mahaprabhu coming and coming and going to push the door. Hey! Open the door. Hey! Open the door. Whom you are meditating? Eh? Here, here I am. Here I am. Whom you are calling? Here I am. Come, open. Mapu. Open the door and Sivas. And now Sivas. Then Sivas discover. Sivas discover same Mahaprabhu. Mahap Sivas discover same Mahaprabhu. But the expression is totally different. Expression total effulgence, body effulgence, like corrodes of sun god. And Shiva, and going to sit in the throne, in the throne of Salgam, going to take all Salgam in the lap. Going to take all Salgam in the lap, 
and going to sit in the in the throne and going to express kipa. So many I cannot go in details, no time. This way, Mahaprabhu express kipa. Long time, I uh, know. Uh, long time and all devotees coming, Mahaprabhu calling and giving kipa. Siva Sangha, many times, not one time. Many times. It is, it is in Siva Sangha. It is in Siva Sangha. It is in Siva Sangha where Adhoyadu Gosai could see the Vishwarupa of Mahaprabhu. Vishwarupa of Mahaprabhu. Adhoyadu Gosai wanted to see the Vishwarupa. If he is my Prabhu, he can surely can show me Vishwarupa. Follow. So, inside room, Mahaprabhu asking inside the room, inside the house of Sivas Pandit, Advaita, what do you like to get? What do you like to see? I like to see a Vishwaru. Oh, really? Then immediately Mahaprabhu going to express, oh, sun god, moon god, countless stars and planets, everything. In the meantime, Nityananda Prabhu also coming in the same. I open the room and open. Nityananda also watching the Vishwarupa Mahaprabhu in that house. Many lila, many lila, not one lila. Many, countless lila. So, Sivas Pandit was like shadow of Mahaprabhu all the way. All the time, Sivas Pandit was like shadow. Be careful. After taking sannyas, Mahaprabhu gone to Nilachal. Everybody knows. After taking sannyas, Mahaprabhu gone to Nilachal Khetra. That time, Sivas Prabhu could not bear the separation, specially the condition, specially the condition of Sachima Jagan Jagannath Misa also gone before, much before. Jagannath Mishra gone from this world much before, when Gauranga Mahaprabhu was only 12 years. And gone. But what to speak? Long before. Now Sochi, Vishnu Piyadivi condition, they cannot be here. That's why Shiva's Pandit used to stay, used to, st used to stay in another house, in Naihati. He don't know. Naihati one junction, you know Naihati. I went there, but not this way, Shiala line. I went there through Haura line. I, uh, I went to Chisura, Chinsura, you know, Chinsura, one station. There I dropped, there was a temple of Sivas Pandit, that side of river. Now, the temple is controlled by Devananda, uh, uh, by Devananda Gauriyamat. I mean, it was the first, it was the first temple. It was the first temple in the life of, of, of Binodda, I mean Keshav Maharaj. That was the first, life, first temple. Chisura temple, Chinsura temple was the first temple of our Keshav Maharaj. After that he get, take temple here. But before that. But he was so lucky to get the seva of whom? Of Sivas Pandit. Sivas Pandit used to stay in Nayati, na? Nayati mean? Now the temple we can find this side. This side of river. But that deity, Gaur Nithananda, worshipped by, by Sivas Pandit. I saw that Vigra. I spoke Harikatha there one time in my life. Long before, 12, 14 years back, I went there. Very nice deity. All the deities were uh, uh, served by, it was, and deities were, were served by Sivas Pandit. 
when Mahaprabhu wanted to take bath in Ganga from Puri, because Mahaprabhu used to, Mahaprabhu sometime, Mahaprabhu sometime used to come to Bengal, I mean Bangladesh, Bangla here, to take bath in Ganga. Mahaprabhu from Puri. One time Mahaprabhu coming, Mahaprabhu going to the house of Advaita Gosai. From there Mahaprabhu went to the house of Sivas Pandit. From Santipur, Mahaprabhu went to the house of Sivas Pandit. Sivas Pandit was very happy to see Mahaprabhu. Prabhu, you come? Yes. From Puri, Mahaprabhu came. Mahaprabhu used to stay there for some time, take prasadam. And our Sivas Pandit, he also used to come to Mayapur. Sometimes he shifted there, he went there. But still, sometimes he used to come here in Navadip, Mayapur, he used to stay near the house of, or in the house of uh, Sachidev, he used to stay. Sivas Pandit, sometimes. Now Mahaprabhu coming here to take Seva, Sivas Pandit serving. One day Mahaprabhu speaking, Sivas, you are not doing any service or you are not doing any business. How you can maintain your uh, family life? It's very typical, no? You are doing no, you are, you are not doing any service or you are not be doing any business. How you can maintain your family? How you can maintain it? Impossible for you. If, if no money, no donation coming in your life, rice, rice, eh? rice, wheat, dal, if not coming, what you can do? Eh? You are not earning money, no business, no... Eh? What you can do? How you can maintain a family? Eh? If, suppose, if no rice, no dal, somebody going to ghee, tail, oil, how you can buy? How you can maintain your family? Then what you can do? Suppose no donation coming to you, what you can do? If no donation coming, what you can do in your life? Sivas Pandit is speaking to Mahaprabhu. One, two, three. Ag, dui, tin. What do you mean? Sivas only speaking in Bengali. Ag, dui, tin. One, two, three. Mahaprabhu speaking, I don't understand what you mean to say. What do you mean to say? Shiva speaking, Prabhu, if one day I can wait, if no donation coming, nothing, Bhagavan not sending, okay. okay. Two days I can wait, three days I can wait, and the fourth day I can go and jump into Ganga. <laughs> no donation coming, how I can maintain? Mahaprabhu started embracing you. My Sivas, don't speak like that. If my Lakshmi, if my wife, Mahaprabhu speaking, Mahaprabhu not speaking my wife, because Mahaprabhu now in the form of human being, na? Mahaprabhu speaking, if Lakshmi going to, if Ma Lakshmi become very poor, but still you cannot become very poor. <laughs> if Lakshmi, rich, uh, goddess of riches, she become very poor, but still you can never become poor. You can maintain your life, very nice. It is a blessing of Mahaprabhu. And every year, and everywhere, every year, Mahaprabhu used to go to Nidachal Khetra, Purushottam Dham. Every year, four months, you know, Chaturmasa, now Chaturmasa again going to start. Chaturmasa again going to start now, after all, then what are you going to do? All stick there. Seek regulation. <laughs> uh, for Chaturmasa, Advaita Gosai, Sivas Pandit, you know, Sivananda Sen, who not? Shattaraj Khan, all everybody going to meet their heart. Their heart is Gauranga. Their heart is Gauranga. Follow. Their heart and soul, they cannot live without Mahaprabhu. That is called actual love. 
We can live, we can live without Bhagavan. Ah, oh, Bhagavan is there somewhere, who knows where. <laughs> we are trying our best. Hey, he is taking. Maharaj, we are trying our best. Stay, always speaking. My neighbor trying. We are always speaking lie. I am trying my best. <laughs> but not trying. <laughs> so, who knows where Bhagavan is? Too much travel. And you know, don't take this word, brinjal, this mustard oil, all, this, this, that, all, you know. And in, you know, this, you know, Bada, Badramas, he cannot take, you know, card. And in Atom, he cannot take milk. Oh my God, so much problem. And in, in Savan, you cannot take spinach. Ah, oh, so much restriction. How we can live? We can live with we can live without Goranga Mahapu. How, how we can live? We can live without Goranga Mahapu. That's not a big problem. Our problem is how we can live this way. <laughs> but their life and soul, but their life and soul is all Gauranga. Even you can find one kitchen. I already sung two years ago in Corona period. So many kitchen. Eh? Swachimata. Crying in the morning time after watching one dream, Shachimata crying and immediately calling, uh, you know, Malini. Malini, today Nimai came in my dream. Mahapu already gone after taking sannyas already. <laughs> but Shachima in dream watching Gauranga, I mean Nimai, and calling, immediately calling Malini, Malini, today I saw go. Today I saw my Nima, I came in dream and asking rice and chapati, dal, everything to me. What to do? There is a very nice song. Very nice song. Bengali, you cannot understand. Ajikar Sapunero Katha. This very. Today's, uh, I mean, Swachimata speaking, I can speak all, uh, all what I saw in my dream. Well, a very nice song. Ajikar Sapanero Katha Shunlo Malini Nimai Asya Chilo Ghare. Nimai came in my house and asking, Mother, you give me. Very nice song. Ajikar Sapanero Katha Shunlo Malini Nimai Asya Chilo Ghare. Very nice song. So anyway, after taking sannyas, everybody, after taking sannyas, Mahaprabhu gone. So all Gauriya devotees, Sivas Pandit, everybody, they used to go to meet with their heart, Gauranga, in Nilachaldan, four months, they used to stay. Sivas Pandit used to invite Mahaprabhu for prasadam. It was the rules. Sometimes Sivas calling, Sometimes Adhoito calling, Sarva Sarva Mortejajo calling, sometimes Sivananda calling, or sometimes Sivananda small boy. Sivananda small boy. His name was Chaitanya Das Bodhai. He used to call Mahaputi in Bhai to take Prasada. So they are actually all Nilachal Lila. If you go through Chaitanya Charitamrita, Chaitanya Bhagavad, you can find that there you can find the Sivas Pandit like shadow used to do Kirtan with Mahaprabhu all the time. At the time of Ratha Yatra, you can go through Chaitanya Charitamrita. Seven groups, Sampradaya, seven. Seven Sampradaya. Sivas Pandit, Mukundo, Nithānanda, hello, uh, Achyutānanda, all seven sampradaya this way, seven sampradaya. Sarup Gosai, all seven sampradaya. Sivas Pandit, all they used to do. Bhakkesha Pandit, I can count and show you, seven, seven sampradaya. All seven sampradaya, seven sampradaya at a time. Even in dream you can understand that kind of enjoyment. Slightly we could realize at the time of, you know, Madhukusi Maharaj and my Guru Maharaj. Those devotees, I was not there because I took birth after. I heard. 
this kind of enjoyment was visible at the time of Madhav Goswami Maharaj, Bhakti Bhavad Puri Goswami, they are shedding tears. Madhav Goswami Maharaj, tall figure, so Ajana Lombi the Hujo calling him. And dancing and singing in the front of, in front of chariot. The Spanda, the Spanda used to take Madhav Goswami Maharaj, come, come Maharaj, in front of chariot. Panda, they are so intelligent. They could realize a great devotee. Come, come, come. They used to take Madhu Gusana in front of Jagannath. Jagannath, open Jagannath. No cordon, cordon. Not after, no cordon. I also in my life one time, I break all cordon, cordon or when in front of Jagannath. Front of Jagannath, in raw, chariot, in front of chariot. No cordon was there. All inside, the core. There are so many cordon. One, two, three, four, five, six. I penetrate and go. Oh, that time my body was very powerful. <laughs> so, Sivas Pandit, you can discover, Sivas Pandit used to do Kirtan there. Very nice Kirtan. And Mahapu used to enjoy. Seven Sampradaya. Seven Sampradaya. And each Sampradaya having so many Mridanga player. So many Mridanga player. We try to understand, we like to understand the sarup. We like to understand the sarup of Sivas Pandit. If you like to understand the sarup of Sivas Pandit, then I can take you to Purushottam Dham at the time of Rathiyatra, Hera Panchami, Hera Panchami coming. I can I like to take you there. There I can show you the sarup of Sarup of Sivas Pandit. Here you cannot realize. Hera Panchami, actually the Hera Panchami means, I mean Dithya. Dithya means after, uh, after, uh, uh, you know, after uh, Amavasa. This is a dark moon or, uh, this is dark moon or, uh, no, I forget. Anyway, so Rathayatra actually is second. I mean the month when one Bengali when one Bengali man starting, the just second day is Rathayatra. What I mean to is it's called Dithya. You don't understand that I am bound to speak this way. I'm bound to speak because you cannot if I speak Dithya, what is Dithya? You cannot understand. I mean the just second day of Bengali calendar, I mean any Bengali month, Bangla month starting. First, second day is actually, first day is uh, Gundicha Manjan. First day I can discuss also. So, uh, I think Dark Moon, because from Pornamasi, I mean the Akadoshi, we can start uh, you know, Chaturmasa, and Pornamasi, some, some group, some group they are starting. So it is Dark Moon, I'm sure about it. I'm sure about it, no calculation here. Yeah. Because we are going to start you know, our Chaturmasa Brata just before Purnima, na? Before Purnima Akadoshi, that we start. That is called Sayana Akadoshi. So I, I, my calculation is okay. It's just After that, and, uh, full moon can come. So anyway, if we can go there in Purushottam Dham, you can discover a very nice, excellent festival. What is that festival? That is called Hera Panchami. Hera Panchami. Hera means actually Uriya word. I can explain it. I already explained before. Hera means to see. To search out where Jagannath is. Lakshmi Devi going to... Lakshmi Devi running with very angry attitude to bring back Jagannath in a home. That is a one, one line I speak. I am no time to speak all in it. There, Raja Pratap Ruddha going to arrange nice, nice sitting. Pratap Ruddha speaking, Hera Panchami, Mahaprabhu and his all his parshad. There should be very nice facility for, facility for them, so that there is no problem for them to watch the Leela. So they are watching. Mahaprabhu eagerly, Mahaprabhu eagerly waiting for the Leela to start. Because Mahaprabhu teaching us, na? With great patience, 
Mahaprabhu waiting on all devotees. When this Leela can start. In the meantime, there was enough time. There was enough time. Mahaprabhu reached much before. So all Sarup Gosai, all Sarup Gosai, Nityananda, Sivas Pandit, Bhakkesa Pandit, you know, Adhvaitu, who not? Everybody there. They are all waiting to watch in a Leela. In the meantime, there was some question. There was some question. What is that question? Sivas Pandit and, uh, uh, and uh, Sivas Pandit and Sarup Gosai. Both of them fighting with each other. My sweet fighting, sweet. Not fighting like angry, sweet fighting. What is the, what is the ground of the fighting? Sivas Pandit speaking, my Lakshmi Devi, you see today, my Lakshmi Devi, you know, goddess of riches, going to arrest Jagannath and go back. And your Lakshmi, your, your Radharani is a very, you know, very poor man. <laughs> Only flower and garden this much. And Lakshmi, you see so much ornament, this, that, you know, your, Lakshmi, your Radharani, what? Only garden and forest, everything, Bindavan. Mahaprabhu laughing. <laughs> Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu enjoying. Mahaprabhu enjoying their discussion. Sarup Gosai speaking this and Siva speaking this. Siva speaking, don't speak like that. <laughs> My Lakshmi Devi is a goddess, goddess of inner you know, riches. You know, and what you have, your your Radharani you know, only forest and this is Mahaprabhu laughing. Mahaprabhu speaking. Shivas, you don't know. Sarup Gosai, Sarup, he is pure Brajavasi. Mahaprabhu not speaking that Sarup is Lalita, Lalita Sakhi. Mahaprabhu openly, Mahaprabhu openly not speaking. Mahaprabhu openly not speaking that Sarup Gosai, he is Lalita Sakhi, not speaking. Because common people there, na? Mahaprabhu speaking. Shivas, what kind of fighting going on? You know who, who, who Sarup is? Sarup is actually pure Brajavasi. He understands the sweetness of Vrindavan Leela. You are actually Narad. Mahaprabhu is going to speak the truth. Really so. If you go through the Sarup, if you go through the Sarup of, you know, of uh, Shivas Pandit, you can discover he is Narad. Narad Muni, actually. <laughs> Shiva is Narad. So Narad is enjoying in Vaikuntha. So it's okay. Maximum can go to Dharaka. <laughs> so Shiva's Pandit is actually, actually Narad. Really so. All four brothers, all four brothers, all their wives, not only that Malini. Malini is an aged lady. Sivas Pandit is also aged. But due to their uh, due to their uh, strict regulation, uh, they are eternally present actually. We cannot speak anything about their health. Because Sivas Pandit looks like looks like a man of fifty years or forty years maximum. Nothing. Or more or less than that. Sivas Pandit. Because of their Brahmacharya, na? But actually, Sivasmani is Naraji, na? Narad Mara. Naraji. So, by the mercy of, by the mercy of Sivas Pandit, by the mercy of Sivas Pandit, many times God Krishna Bhakti. By the mercy of Sivas Pandit, so many people, they could get Krishna Bhakti. Especially, Sivas is the heart of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Heart of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. That's why, all the way, all, you can write from the beginning of Gaur Lila. Right from the beginning of Gaur Lila, all the way, you can find all the way. Sivas Pandit, Malinima, Sipati, Sinidhi, all they are involved. Sri Ram Pandit, 
whole, the whole day and night they are serving Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Whole day and night they used to serve Gauranga Mahaprabhu. So we will have to uh, take Kipha from them. We will have to collect Kipha from them, I mean from Sivas Pandit, so that we can get Bhakti. Otherwise it is impossible. Without the mercy of devotee, without the kipa of devotee, devotion and life is really impossible. By personal effort, we cannot get. Jivanti jantavaha sarve matara sritaha. I can discuss this slok tomorrow. Jivanti jantavaha sarve matara sritaha. Taking the help of mother, all devotees, they are living. I, all jiva, all jiva. Without the help of mother, they cannot live. Follow. Similarly, I can discuss tomorrow, today no time. By the help of Bhakti Devi, we can do everything. And Bhakti, for Bhakti, we will have to depend upon devotees. Directly, you cannot get Bhakti. Always. Always you will have to depend upon some devotees. With bhakti to Bhagavad Bhakti Sangina Parijayati. Without which you cannot get bhakti. It is the property of devotees. So here I like to stop. We are begging Kifra from Sivas Pandit, the great parsad of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Vanchakalpatarosikipasindhi Bhavishya Patitanam Pavana Bhavishna Vyonam.